Apple Watch Series 10 is like a tiny computer on your wrist. But what's really inside it? Let's go layer by layer and see how every component works together to make it so powerful. At the very top, we have the protective glass. This isn't ordinary glass. Apple uses Ion-X strengthened glass on the standard models and sapphire crystal glass on higher-end versions. It is scratch-resistant, durable, and designed to withstand daily wear. The glass not only protects the inner display, but also makes touch gestures smooth and accurate. Just below the glass lies the OLED display panel. This is an edge-to-edge wide-angle OLED always-on display, extremely bright and efficient. It can reach very high brightness for outdoor visibility, yet remain dim and gentle in low light. The display is flexible, thin, and it's the part that shows you your apps, watch faces, and notifications in stunning clarity. Behind the display, there is the lithium-ion battery. It is compact yet powerful enough to last a full day. The Series 10 also supports fast charging, so in just a few minutes you can get hours of use. The battery is connected to a power management system that ensures energy is distributed efficiently to all parts of the watch, from sensors to the display. Next is one of the most unique parts of the Apple Watch, the Taptic Engine. This is a linear actuator that creates precise vibrations and taps on your wrist. Instead of a loud buzz, you feel gentle, natural taps when you get a notification, turn the digital crown, or use navigation. The Taptic Engine makes the Apple Watch feel alive, giving you silent, private feedback that only you can feel. At the heart of the watch is the S10 SIP -E, system in package. This tiny square contains the 64-bit dual-core processor and a four-core neural engine. It's the brain of the Apple Watch, running Watch OS 11 smoothly, powering advanced health features, and enabling gestures like double tap. The chip is designed to be ultra-efficient, balancing performance and battery life in such a small device. All of the components connect to the motherboard, also called the logic board. This is a tiny multi-layer circuit board where the processor, memory, wireless modules like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, LTE, and even the GPS chip are mounted. It's like the central hub that links every part of the watch together. On the right side of the watch, you'll notice the flat side button. Internally, it's a small electronic switch connected to the motherboard. This button is used for quick actions, opening the dock, accessing Apple Pay, or switching off the watch. It's simple from the outside, but inside, it's carefully sealed to maintain water resistance. And finally, the digital crown, the rotating knob next to the side button. It's not just a scroll wheel. It has a built-in encoder that detects rotation precisely, allowing you to zoom, scroll, and navigate. The crown also has haptic feedback, so when you turn it, you feel tiny clicks thanks to the Taptic engine. Plus, it has sensors to measure your finger's touch, enabling features like the double tap gesture in Series 10. The sensor array. Flipping the watch over, at the bottom you'll see the back crystal module. This area houses some of the most important sensors in the entire Apple Watch, because these are the ones that stay in contact with your skin and measure your body's vital signs. Optical heart rate sensor, electrical heart sensor, blood oxygen sensor, temperature sensor, skin, contact sensor. Together, this sensor package allows the Apple Watch Series 10 to track everything from your pulse and blood oxygen to sleep quality and irregular heart rhythms, turning the back of the watch into a miniature health lab on your wrist. So that's what's inside the Apple Watch Series 10, starting from the glass, display, battery, and taptic engine to the powerful S10 chip, motherboard, side button, and digital crown. Every tiny component works in harmony to create one of the most advanced smartwatches in the world, a health companion, fitness tracker, and communication device all in one. If you like this 3D animated explanation and learned something new, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Blue Butterfly for more awesome tech breakdowns. Got questions? Drop them in the comments. Thanks for watching.